There's a lot of heavily researched brain foods out there, but this video is the five best, most researched brain foods that are out there. It's my testament to you that I am going to give you only the most researched good information that we can find. All right, so we're talking about these brain foods that are gonna be a good tool in your toolbox. All five of these can be used interchangeably or they can be used together. Some of them are better for the long term, some of them are better for the medium term, some of them are better for a quick hit and just a quick brain boost. So without further ado, let's dive in. Hit that red subscribe button down there in the bottom right corner and then please do hit that bell icon so you never ever miss a daily video. Remember, I'm not a doctor. This is for informational purposes only. I'm just some guy on the internet that had a pretty big transformation physically and mentally. Number one is turmeric. Now not just curcumin, okay, turmeric as a whole, which a lot of people kind of take for granted. They focus on curcumin. Turmeric has the ability, or a lot of components of turmeric have the ability to cross through the blood-brain barrier, which is a unique thing within itself. But once they are within the brain, they have the ability to activate different things. That's what we're really after here. Not a direct effect, but more of stimulating our natural ability. So they alter signaling within the brain, which means that they can signal the brain to grow in different ways or adapt in different ways. And there was an interesting study published in Neuroscience Letters that found that turmeric consumption actually prevented some of the decline in what is called BDNF. Now this is probably boring as heck, but let me just make this exciting for one second. BDNF is what allows your brain to adapt, okay? BDNF is active at what is called the neural synapse, where two neurons meet. Every time you go through a new change or uh, adapt to something amazing and get stronger and better mentally, it's because at that intersection where the neurons meet, you're growing a new pathway. It's like a two-way intersection that becomes a three, becomes a four, becomes a five, becomes a 20. Okay, BDNF is partially responsible for that. So the natural decline in BDNF explains why a lot of times our mental capacity can go down as we age. We want to prevent that. Turmeric could be a good way to do that. Another study found that after a traumatic brain injury, turmeric had an ability to, again, increase BDNF and allow that proper signaling and allow that proper regrowth and neural growth that we need, especially after an injury. And then of course, there's the big study that takes a look at uh, amyloid plaque. The Journal of Biochemistry published a study that showed that yes, beta amyloid plaque is a big part of what is called a neurodegenerative disease. You probably know which ones I'm talking about. Okay, turns out that turmeric might have an ability to remove some of that. So long story short, turmeric is sort of the thing that you should be taking consistently. Okay, it has a long-term effect, probably has a pretty good short-term effect too, but long-term, it's more something that you just want to add to your daily mix, your coffee, whatever. Moving into number two is something that gets you a little bit more of a middle-term effect, and that is gonna be having some berries, maybe in a concentrated form so you're not getting a whole bunch of sugar. What we have to remember with the brain is that it's highly susceptible to oxidative damage, okay? Because it has a blood-brain barrier, it is protected to some degree but it also does not have the same defense mechanisms that the rest of our body has. So as we get older, what ends up happening is a lot of these stresses can leak through the blood-brain barrier and our brain being somewhat defenseless ends up taking the brunt of the load. It ends up getting damaged. So it turns out that berries have very specific flavanols that can cross through the blood-brain barrier, but they don't act upon the cells themselves. They activate the natural antioxidants within the brain. That's what we want. We don't wanna be dependent on something coming in and doing it for us. The flavanols from berries can cross through that blood-brain barrier and they sort of remind the brain's defense system to wake up a little bit, therefore preventing some of the cognitive decline. But what's really cool is a study that's published in the Applied Physiology and Nutrition Journal. It took a look at subjects that consumed concentrated blueberry juice for 12 weeks. When they looked at the brain images, they saw that there was a huge increase in blood perfusion within the brain, which means that more blood was getting into specific regions of the brain that the subjects were using at that point in time. Leading me into number three, which might be something that you get more of a short-term effect on, and that is lion's mane. Lion's mane is a weird-shaped mushroom that you see in all kinds of coffee. You see it in adaptogenic blends now. It's fairly popular, and for good reason. You see, yes, it affects BDNF signaling, just like some of these other things do. It also affects nerve growth factor, meaning helps you grow new neurons. That's outstanding. But there's some really interesting stuff that's coming out. There is a study that was published in the journal Cytotechnology. It found that there are specific biopolymers in lion's mane that help grow adrenal neurons. Okay, so they help grow the response to the adrenal system. What that means is it could be making your brain more reactive in a positive way, quicker, faster. 
Now, this is in addition to being able to improve uh, BDNF signaling and nerve growth factor. So you have kind of a triple whammy. You have all the effects that you're getting from like turmeric and from berries, but then you have this other sort of third wheel that's helping you out. But let's look at some research really quick. A study that was published in the journal Phytotherapy Research. 16 weeks took a look at individuals that consumed either lion's mane or placebo. Okay, lion's mane group, huge improvement when taking a cognitive test after 16 weeks. But what's wild is four weeks after ceasing the supplementation of lion's mane, their cognitive test scores dropped right back to baseline. So it only took four weeks for that to get out of their system, which implies that it's a much quicker hit, okay? Getting yourself something that's going to be maybe a couple of day effect versus something that you have to be taking for a long period of time. Uh, highly recommend if you're looking for a good lion's mane uh, for Sigmatic, down below in the description, probably seen them a lot before. They appear on my channel quite a bit, big thank you to them. But they have a coffee that has lion's mane in it, so you kind of get the dual benefit of the caffeine coming in, which obviously helps your brain, but you also get your lion's mane in a really delicious, effective way that seems to have a relatively short-term benefit too. So I highly recommend them, I use it all the time. I'm not sipping on it right now, but a lot of times I sip on it before I'm filming, simply because I feel like it lights my brain up. I just think when it comes down to brain boost, it's a huge, huge value add. So this special link with special pricing down below for anyone that watches my videos and for my fans. So make sure you check them out after this video. Next up is dark chocolate. Dark chocolate is probably one of the quickest effects that you're gonna get. Now you could take straight cacao extract, you could straight, you know, cacao nibs, whatever, okay? Cocoa and cacao contain what are called catechins and epicatechins. Okay, these accumulate in specific regions of your brain. Okay, and they allow that area of the brain to get activated a little bit easier, which is great. If you're gonna be filming, it might give you that mental boost. If you have to take a test, it might help you out. If you have to concentrate on driving or flying or something, it might help you out there too. But I think one of the quickest ways that it affects us, it improves nitric oxide levels, which means that you're improving the circulation within your brain. That is very important. More blood flow potentially means more nutrient delivery, more energy delivery, more ketone delivery, you name it. Okay, so nitric oxide is powerful and when it's combined with the effects of a a little bit of caffeine and theobromine from chocolate but also the catechin and epicatechin that is a really powerful short-term effect so believe it or not cocoa is more of a superfood than it is a junk food you just don't want to be combining it with a bunch of sugar obviously and the last one on the list is a very short-term one and that's actually what I'm drinking right now is going to be organic green tea. Generally, I'm a fan of matcha, but I switch it up. Okay, green tea, of course, we have the quintessential EGCG. Okay, EGCG is known worldwide as something that is a powerful antioxidant, but also gives us a little bit of a brain boost. But there's some other pieces that people don't always realize. Green tea in the EGCG plays an effect on our mood, and it does this by improving dopamine. Dopamine is the feedback that we get. When we like something, we get a dopamine hit that tells us, hey, this is good, okay? Green tea helps produce more of that dopamine, meaning that we are going to get a better response and a better almost elation out of doing things. More gratification. More gratification out of doing things means that we're more likely to stick to something. I find that if I drink green tea, I get more excited about a task than I would otherwise find boring. But then of course green tea doesn't just have the caffeine and the EGCG, it has theanine in it. And theanine acts as a transporter for tryptophan and for tyrosine, which means that you're getting that uh, natural delivery that can improve the alpha waves and make you feel nice and calm. There's nothing better than feeling alert, energized, excited, but also calm at the same time. Okay, so if I had to rate them in a specific order, I would say green tea for the very, very short term, immediate effect, okay? Chocolate, a close second with that immediate effect. Lion's mane is going to be sort of something that you can take a couple days prior to uh, something where you need more cognitive function, as well as a pretty immediate effect. Then we move into berries, which is more of like a one to two week effect, and then turmeric, something that you want to consistently be taking. So if you layer these properly, you might be able to stagger them to get the ultimate brain boost. Anyhow, keep it locked in here on my channel. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.